Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we have episode three of What's in My Bag. And to be more specific, it's actually going to be What's in My Camera Bag. Starting off, of course, with the bag itself, this is the Everyday Messenger from Peak Designs. Peak Designs makes really high quality bags for photographers and videographers in mind. Now I've been using this Everyday Messenger bag for about a few months now, and it has been my everyday carry bag since I've had it. The design of the bag is unique in a few different ways. Now I know this video is technically going to focus on what I carry in my camera bag, but this bag is not just for camera gear. The removable dividers in the main compartment allow for easy customizing to fit all of your needs. If you don't need the divider or aren't carrying around any gear, simply take it out. The Velcro is super strong, but it's also easy to remove the dividers when needed. Now just by looking at this bag, you might have noticed that it's made up of some pretty interesting materials. According to Peak Designs, this bag is made up from weatherproof waxed 500D Kadra shell with high density padding and a DWR undercoat. I don't really know what any of that means, but to put it more simply, it's made from some really durable materials that can pretty much get through any conditions you might experience during your travels or your use. Every zipper and pocket are manufactured to perfection, but my favorite feature is the lock and unlock mechanism that really sets this bag apart from the rest. Peak Designs made it super simple to open and close the bag with the technology they call the mag latch. Using a combination of the magnetic latch and ladder locking points, the Everyday Messenger bag is the best bag I've ever had when it comes to taking out items quickly and easily. Carrying this bag around is extremely comfortable and the straps themselves are made up of a sleek seatbelt design that proportions the weight of the bag evenly across your chest. When you feel the strap for the first time, it's a little weird since essentially it is a seatbelt, but it's brilliant in the sense that you're going to know that this thing is going to last and hold up just like a seatbelt in your car does. Finally, what exactly can you fit inside the Everyday Messenger? Well, the answer to that is pretty easy, a lot. Now I usually overpack and my bag is super heavy all the time. For this example, I brought what I would usually carry around every day for work and editing. There may be a few things added in there for extended stay use cases, but for the most part, these are things that I would need when going out on a shoot or when going to work. Our first zippered compartment is where you would place your laptop and or tablet. You can fit a 15 inch laptop comfortably, but not much bigger. In this video, I have my work computer, which is the 15 inch 2015 MacBook Pro, and you'll also have room for what looks like a full sized iPad, but if I have my computer with me, I don't need a full size iPad, so maybe I would just bring my iPad mini. The main compartment of this bag is where most of your gear will go. Of course, you have the dividers to help divide the lens from the other components of the camera, like the body. Speaking of the body, in one of the areas of the main compartment is where the camera body would be. Now, I'm in between second cameras right now, and so I only have this camera that I'm actually using to shoot, which is the Sony a6500. So in this area right here, just imagine a small DSLR camera. Next, we have all of the lenses that I would bring, like a Sony 35mm, a Canon 50mm, the Sigma 18-35, and a couple of adapters, just to name a few. For audio, I would either throw in my Rode Filmmaker set, or my personal favorite, the Rode VideoMic Pro that you see here. It fits perfectly on top of the camera or the lenses, and I feel pretty confident that it's not gonna move around and that the bag is protecting the microphone. In the main compartment, there is one small little sleeve which I keep my iPhone 7 Plus in. It has a nice material that shouldn't scratch your phone and it fits perfectly. There is also one zippered compartment and that's where I would keep my things like loose SD cards, or in this case, my Sony a6500 camera batteries. Sony cameras are notorious for having pretty crappy battery life, and so this many batteries for a day shoot is honestly probably not enough, but it's nice to have the space for them if you need it. Finally, in the front of the bag, there is one more zippered compartment that can fit all sorts of little odds and ends like pens, cables, and flash drives. For me, I kept my secondary phone, which usually is the phone I'm currently testing, and right now that's the OnePlus 3T. I also have a lightning cable or USB-C cable to charge said phones, a smaller portable battery bank like this one from Noontech, and of course, in order to get some editing done on the road, I need my external SSD. This is the Samsung T1. This model is the USB 3.0 version, but the newer model features USB 3.1 with a USB-C connectivity. It's much faster, but this T1 is still good enough for me. Finally, if I want to listen to music, well, I'm going to need some headphones. For this particular use case, I would need two pairs of headphones, one for the computer and either an adapter or a different one for my iPhone. 
This might be an inconvenience, but the JBL Lightning headphones are amazing, so it's kind of worth taking. Seriously, they sound really, really good, and they offer a bit of active noise cancellation and are really comfortable. If you love the idea of lightning headphones, but just aren't digging the Apple versions, you should definitely check these out. If you're interested in any of the products mentioned in this video, you can of course find them in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about the Everyday Messenger Bag, or if you guys want to see a more detailed video on my camera gear and how I go about using them to produce my content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.